Have you ever wanted to build a machine that could give you endless cooked chicken? Well then, you've come to the right place. Buddy, I need you to be good because the viewers are gonna be here. And oh, oh, okay, they're here. Um, hello, everybody. Sibling Power here, and today you join me in this fine, wonderful village, uh, with these villagers on this super flat world. Because today I am doing another pro tips video, and this pro tips video, I'm going to teach you how to get endless amounts of cooked chicken. Yeah, you like that, don't you? Um. And so where we're going is right over here to this wonderful machine. So yeah, this this machine here, this can provide you with endless amounts of cooked chicken. Not at a very fast rate, but you know, it's endless chicken. So it you it's going to take a while. But um I don't need this anymore. All of the um blocks used in the creation of this I am turning friendly creatures off. Uh, hold on a second. Let's go into sound here and turn off friendly creatures because those chickens are quite loud and annoying. So, <coughs> uh, excuse me. In this um chest are the materials that are used in the actual structure, and over here are the materials you will need to use um to sort of build. Um, so no, to get the chickens, sorry, building, I forgot, it's over here, so yes, materials. Um, and some materials, um, in case people didn't know how to make, uh, because so, some people don't, um, you want dispenser, redstone repeater, comparator, hopper, why is that not going down, a uh, chest, everyone should know how to build chest, trap door, and ladder. These are all things that people, for some reason, don't know how to get, and I don't know why. Stone slab, I guess. Um, but we're going to go over some things that people usually have trouble getting. I don't, um, that are, especially these three, these tricky, these redstone stuff is tricky uh, for some people. So, stone slab is just, yeah, they saw that coming. Ladder is, um, is sticks. Yeah, it's a bunch of sticks in a ladder pattern. Um, no, we don't need to see how to make sticks. Um, trap door is a bunch of wood, six wood, and you'll get two trap doors. Hopper is, yeah, that's one, two, three, four, five iron and a chest. And you will get a hopper. Um, redstone comparator is three redstone torches, another quartz, and stone. There's no mods, by the way. This is all, uh, vanilla Minecraft stuff. I have mods, um, on because I am using the, uh, thing. But all of this is vanilla redstone, is, is vanilla Minecraft. And actually, this is the only mod I have on. Um, and the, uh, redstone repeater is the three stone, two redstone torches, and a piece of redstone. And finally, the dispenser is cobblestone pants pattern, a bow, and redstone. Undamaged bow. It's not going to work if you uh, put, like, a garbage bow in there. It needs an undamaged bow, so. Yeah, you're not going to get this from killing skeletons. Unless you can repair the bow. Then you might. Um, ooh. As you can see, the redstone just flashed there. And why is redstone not making any noise? Hold on a second. What did I do? I turned off friendly creatures. Redstone should be making noise. Oh well. I think it makes noise. Hold on. I'm checking my redstone quick because I think I somehow turned off redstone. No, I just couldn't hear it because I wasn't close enough. Okay, but essentially what this machine does is... Why can't I hear this? Uh, what this machine does is every time the chickens lay an egg um, it will go in and it will fire the egg automatically um, and it has a chance of hatching a baby chicken and the baby chicken when it grows up it will become two uh, it will become one block high and so it will be in the lava and it will die and there's a chance that the chicken can fall in the lava but more 
more likely your cooked chicken will go into these hoppers, be transported to the chest where I do not have any yet because I just built this machine. So yes, we're going to build this machine. Um, and a thing you need to understand about what the redstone I will get to when I'm actually building the redstone. So we're going to go over here, nice away from the first machine, um, but not too far, and start the creation. So what you're going to want to build first is this, this weird, weirdly shaped thing. Technically there could be a block there, but uh, you're, this is what you're going to want to build first, and this can be any material. Like this whole creation I built out of iron just because but uh, it can be any material and this does not need to be glass uh, um, and I'll tell you what needs to be what um, and so now we're going to put a dispenser there yeah yeah good okay what am I doing okay this is what you're going to want to do um, before you make any redstone this is what you're going to want to make yep and this is your basic structure start and so now you're going to want to take your comparator stand right here next to the block and click it so that these two things are facing the um, actual dispenser and what this will do if if you don't understand what a comparator does is it's watching the inventory of this dispenser and when it detects something inside the inventory it's going to light up um, but it doesn't light up that strong, so you're going to want to put a repeater right there. And next, we're going to need some actual redstone um, to link up this way. And now what I just did was I made it so that this thing will constantly tick every time... Um, every, this thing will be ticking so when there's some when there's stuff in the inventory it's going to constantly be ticking away. Um, and then what we're going to want to do is put another repeater and link that redstone up and this is going to power the dispenser and effectively what this creates is well you could easily make a machine gun with this same principle if I made if I got arrows boom and I place these in the dispensers inventory it's now firing the arrows out and it's essentially yeah you've just made a machine gun but what you want to do is not uh... well that's a lot of arrows um, what you actually want it to do is break eggs and you want it to break eggs on the slab in front of it because that's what it's gonna do if you have a slab there um, and yeah so this is the redstone this is not complicated it's one comparator two repeaters and a bunch of little bits of dust and now to get on to the fun stuff. Um, we're going to put a glass in to build. You don't need to use glass, by the way. This is just for uh, demonstration purposes. And here's what you want to do with these hoppers, because hoppers are a bit weird. Now, take a material that you can break easy, like cobblestone, and place two right there. Now, what you're going to want to do is stand right here, shift, and make sure you're on the face of the cobblestone right there, and click. And as such, it will connect to that block. You can see the little bit. The little bit of uh, this is turned and connecting. Then you want to break this cobblestone, connect it right there, and now this is connected to that, which is then connected to this, and you want just want to break that, place a torch, or a chest, sorry, not a torch. Um... But essentially what this is, it's a hopper pipe. Hoppers will essentially take stuff out of, um, will take stuff when they, like, swallow something. They will then transport it forward. And the thing with slabs is items can go through slabs, I believe, if they're half. Yes, um, I need to test this theory quick, otherwise this machine is not going to work right. Oh, God. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a slab right there. And I'm going to see if items can go through slabs. Yep, they can. That's how this machine works. Items 
go through this slab when the chickens die. So then we want to place glass there to just contain the chickens. And then we have this containment. Boom. And now, now that that's completed, you're going to want to put lava up top, which I have the lava bucket in here. Boom. And now, essentially, the killing chamber, as this would be, is uh, finished. This is the chamber that's going to kill your chickens, but you don't have any way of getting your chickens in there. And that's what you're going to want to do next. Let's uh, close the top and continue on with the next section. And that is taking a hopper, breaking this glass, and quickly placing the hopper so that it contains the lava and then placing hoppers across like this. I do two of them so that we have a three hopper pipe. And this is essentially what you're going to get here. And you can contain these hoppers. You can't put any more down because the redstone is in the way, but you can contain the hoppers. You can break this and make a little window in case you want to be able to see your chickens. And what you're going to do then is just build a containment area for them. Um, I make this containment area three tall so that you can get in with your chickens. Um, but, you know, you won't be transferred to your death, but, you know, the chickens will. And then we're going to place a trap door like that and a letter like that. And for the sake of... Um, uh, time. I'm going to use a spawn chicken egg, but what you would do is take your normal eggs and throw them in like that to spawn baby chickens, which will actually increase the time it takes to start getting chickens because those baby chickens will need to grow up before they can start laying eggs. So you're going to need to use eggs in survival mode, but I can use spawn chicken eggs here, or if you want to cheat, you could always use spawn chicken eggs, but you know spawn chickens you make sure there's no baby chickens involved in this you don't want to click and these are all adult chickens you gotta push them all around and close the top and effectively you really don't need that many chickens yeah I, I put five in there but you can probably do this with one chicken um it'll just take a long time the more chickens you got up there the, the less time it'll take but yeah any amount of chickens can go up in this uh, machine there you go, I got tons of chickens up in this machine. And now it's a waiting game. Effectively, the machine has been created. And what this machine will do, and I'm this is why I tell you it will take a very long time, this machine is going to create, ooh, did something just die? Okay, for some reason the cooked chickens likes to fall in the lava like half the time. So this machine is not the most, um, Yes, it's not the most um, effective machine uh, in Minecraft, but it is the most, um, like, it is the easiest to build, and it's probably, um, am I missing something? A block of iron. Oh, well. Uh, we'll never know. Um... But anyway, yes, this is so this is the effectively an endless chicken machine. You could do this on um your server or you could do it you could do this on a server for uh, factions like um a chicken farm. You could build multiples of these machines uh to increase productivity if you as I said a faction. Uh that's where I think this most would be most handy is in factions. I built this ladder on this machine, by the way. This is just access to the uh, top. So I recommend, I don't I don't think I need to demonstrate how to build a ladder. That That's just the, um, but yeah, so ladders, you want to build an access hatch um, because in case you need to kill the chickens and shut down, because the machine can't be shut down uh, otherwise, it, you could, uh, I guess you could break the redstone, but otherwise the machine can't really be shut down uh, uh, besides killing the chickens or um, breaking all the redstone. So that's how you would shut this machine down. Um, but otherwise, the machine cannot be shut down. So as you can see, I got some baby chickens in there. I have a feather. So the, as you can see, the machine has um, sort of 
done its job. And you will get tons of chicken in time. It does. It will take a long time to get the uh, chicken because when the chickens die, it, there's a chance that it's gonna fall in lava. Um, and yeah, I guess that's all I can really show you for this Minecraft Pro tip: an endless food, um, endless chicken machine. And I've got stupid background noise because of my dog. What are you doing? Um, but yeah, this is this is. Like, I, I really liked this machine when I found it, and I wanted to show people, because this is, uh, I found it on, what was it? Oh, I found it on, like, um, I don't know, it was something similar, no, it's, I can't explain the website. Why is it still recording? Mm. And, yes. This this machine. I found the machine. I forget where I found the machine. I'm so nah. I forget where I found the machine, and the, as such, this machine will um. As such, this machine um needed to be seen by more people because I saw that the view for the actual thing that the machine was on was very low. Unless I don't know any other YouTubers who have actually done this machine though, so. Um, so if, if you have seen this on other bits of YouTube, um, cause I've heard this is a bit better known and this guy just made it to show people and yeah, that's essentially what I'm doing. I'm trying to put it out to another, um, audience, the YouTube audience who doesn't search the web for these things. Um, so yeah, this is the, uh, Endless Chicken Machine, and I guess I will see everybody on the next pro tip or in the next episode of whatever I do. A goodbye, everyone.